and I think to myself, what a wonderful Hello, it is Nikhil. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be doing my nails. I have already soaked off the previous set. So this is currently what my nails are looking like. Now, so I did end up purchasing this kit from Amazon. It did come with the medium size, medium to short almond tips, the solid nail gel glue, and a mini lamp. So I will leave the link for this kit down in the description box now at some point i thought i showed the box again but i didn't hence why i put that picture in there so you can see what i'm using i did unbox this in my amazon nail haul so if you do want to see exactly a breakdown of everything that come in the kit it wasn't much it was literally those three things I was drawn to this kit for a number of reasons. I saw one of my nail sisters, the Nail Genie SC, unbox it on her channel. And the two reasons why I gravitated to this kit was mainly because one, the tips were medium to short and it was sketched in the inside. And two, because I love that it came with that solid nail gel. Boy, that acetone did a number on these hands. I should have got up and put on some lotion and washed these things. I just went straight at the door of my nails. And so now I'm just going in to size out my nails. I am definitely going to have to reshape them in order to use this uh, almond shape because my nails typically is a square. And so I don't mind having to do that. The number one thing that I have a problem with when it comes to full cover tips is that I can barely find tips that fit my thumb. And there's only one thumb. It will fit my left hand thumb, no problem. But when it comes to that right, I always have a issue finding a number that fits my thumb. I really find tips that fit my thumb. As you can see, it don't go side wall to side wall on the right hand. <laughs> it only goes side to side on the left hand. So clearly my thumbs are not the same size. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my trusted model one dehydrator and primer. Just a disclaimer, I am not a nail professional. I did not go to anybody nail school. I'm just somebody who loves to do their own nails. So most of my schooling has been from YouTube University. And the reason why I didn't wash my hands, because most of the time people say to avoid water one to two hours before doing your nails. And that is one of the reasons why I avoided washing my hands because I knew I was going in immediately after soaking off my nails to put on these tips. So I did end up doing my prep, pushing back the cuticles and all of that. I do have a video on how I do that. I will leave it in the cards in case you want to check that out. Now I don't have base gel for this company. So I'm going to go in with my trusted Benalisa base gel. So again, this is this Norval Solid Nail Gel Tip Kit that I got from Amazon. Ooh, see, that's the downside with the name being at the bottom. I gotta remember to store this the right way, so. And the inside of this is already scuffed, which is a good thing. So that's one less thing I gotta do.
if there was enough gel to flow all the way that way. However, this, this is a lot bigger. The good thing about this is I love me a good solid gel. <laughs> okay? The thicker the better for me. I don't know about nobody else, but I am a fan of solid gels. Now, at some point, I know I'm gonna have to cure this, but I'm, I don't wanna cure this with this on my skin. I'm definitely going to take off as much as I can. I prefer flash curing this, but I keep pulling it up. All right, so that's what I should have. Alcohol. 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 I'm just going in with some alcohol to get some of that gel off of my skin. I'm not so much focused on the gel that is on the tip but i definitely want to get that gel that is on my skin before putting it in to flash cure and because that thing was thick thick i had to put some elbow grease <laughs> into this trying to get that uh gel off of my skin but i managed and then i went in to flash cure i am already loving the fact that i was able to do all of that cleanup and not have to worry about my nail moving because at this point it is still not cured and that thing is not moving <laughs> and so i absolutely love it now i'm going in with nail number two to help me with this one i did use that stir two to help me uh spread it out so i am going to scoop it up and then use that to to one take some of that out because i picked up way too much and then spread the rest of it out that way when i'm pressing it against my nail it spreads easier than having to put so much pressure on my nails to get it to completely cover the entire length of my natural nails So I'm repeating that process on all of my nails. One thing I did notice that I was definitely underestimating how long my nails was when I was spreading this out. And so because I didn't go all the way to the length of my actual natural nails, I did have to apply a bit of pressure when applying them to my nails and so as you're going to see and that is what was causing so much of that spillage i believe if i spread it all the way out to where my natural nail reached i wouldn't have to apply that much pressure which would have probably prevented all of that spillage around that cuticle area and it wouldn't have been that much cleanup that i had to do <laughs> but uh first time around tips that I will apply the next time I apply tips if I plan on keeping my natural nails the length that they are. And when applying these tips, I know 
because my nails were originally school my natural nails is originally square i am going to shape these nails later in the video so i'm not really worried about that natural nail that is coming off on the side because i am going to reshape these once i am done applying the tips So these are what the nails are looking like after I have shaped and fixed them up. <laughs> uh, I am tired. It's like midnight right now. So I doubt if I, I know I'm not finna, um, I'm not, I know I'm not going to do my nails tonight because I'm sleeping. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna throw on some base coat because I did the top of it. I'm just going to quickly throw on some base coat and top coat and go to sleep. <laughs> now, I don't know why on God's green earth that I don't have the clip of me doing my fouling process. I don't know. I'm going to chalk it up as I forgot to press the record button. When I was doing this, I truly, truly apologize because I thought I was recording that process and I really wanted to keep that in. But for some reason, I don't have it. So I'm just going in putting on this base coat because it's late and I don't feel like doing my nails. That's going to be another three hour process. And so I'm just going in with some Vinalisa base coat and top coat to complete this look until I get around to doing my actual nails. I'm gonna go in with my Benelli Searching for Tap Coat. I was looking for my regular one, but I can't seem to find it. So, Temper Tap Coat it is. So when it comes to this nail tip solid gel kit, it does come with 500 almond tips, uh, the solid gel in the mini lamp. So that's everything that come in this kit. If I didn't mention it at some point in this video already. <laughs> so these are what my nails are looking like. I am loving it so far. The only con, and it's not just with this kit, it's mostly with any kit that I, or any nails when it comes to full cover tips, I always have a problem with my thumb, but I pretty much uh, worked it out. So where you can't even tell, you could tell, but you can't really tell. But um, the application went on pretty well. I am loving it so far. I still have to work on gel to nail ratio because it'd be just gel just spilling all over the place. 
but that comes with time and practice so i'm not complaining there when it comes to this kit i will link it below i did get it from amazon i hauled it um a while back and i'm just getting around to trying them out mainly because that born pretty tips <laughs> lasted forever almost two months that i've been wearing that those tips and so i am just getting around to trying this one out so we'll see how long this one lasts when it comes to this length i'm still on the fence about it but for right now we're going to keep it this length if at some point they get cut you know why <laughs> Cause they might be a little too long for me to operate day-to-day -day activities but for right now we're going to keep them at this length if you are new here and you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for go ahead and hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a video to all of my returning subscribers thank you so much for your continued support i truly 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 appreciate it and until the next time bye bye what a wonderful world.